Hello. Recently, I've been looking at some footage um, from many uh, researchers. Specifically, what really got me on this um, particular path was I was seeing some video that uh, Yellow Rose of Texas did. And I'll tell you, what a powerful, powerful set of videos. Um, highly encourage you to go over to her channel and in fact I'll even leave a link for you um, you really should see her stuff so it got me to thinking okay this we all know is such a you know the controversy continues it will continue and I believe after you particularly watch uh, Yellow Rose's videos, you're going to see, I think, that um, may have been the real purpose of Sechi. I'm not sure. So anyway, what got me was the background here. Now, this is the Milky Way. Supposed to be. And I'm going to play just a random video here. This is one where we get the controversy about the uh, baffle. But now you're seeing the star field come in, right? So, pretty simple. But that got me to thinking about something. And when I started thinking about it, kind of more questions came up. So this is a solar system scope. This is our universe. I mean, our universe, yeah. It's our uh, little section of the universe and even uh, our little uh, neighborhood in the uh, Milky Way. So I can show you how this kind of looks and boy we can just kind of take it through the plane and you can see. So this is this is us. So as I said this is our galaxy. That's what they tell us. This is the Milky Way or good artists or rendition thereof. So let's continue and let's get into some a little bit more about this. So this is what we see from planet Earth. This is, well, they say it's technical glitch there. <laughs> Maybe they're listening. So this is looking in the direction near the center of our galaxy. Um, but don't buy that either. Um, so here I have done a very simple graphical representation of our galaxy. This is the center of the galaxy right here. The spirals represent the spiral bands in our galaxy. We call this the galactic plane. Kind of gives us a center of an XYZ axis, right? So this little area down here is us. I included, as you see, this is interstellar space. Um, here's our solar system. X marks the spot. This includes the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud. Now, in reality, folks, this is all we can see. We don't see the whole Milky Way. And I think you got to understand some of the dynamics here. So if this is all we can see of the Milky Way, okay, I can dig that. So it kind of gives us all a good point of reference, right? So the question I had was just how fast is everything moving? I mean, come on, folks. It's like everybody here on planet Earth is in a hurry to go nowhere. Always amazes me. Even And listen, as I've gotten older, wisdom is supposed to come about. Um, but I always find it interesting how everyone is rushing in a hurry to get nowhere. And really, folks, let me tell you something. Here is reality. All you are doing is hurrying to your grave.
So slow down. Because what you're about to see, you may want to slow down. Because everything else, trust me, is going really, really fast. So how fast? Well, let's just see how fast. So here's the Earth. While you and I, and while I'm making this video, sitting on my butt and watching the world go round, that world is spinning at about 67,000 miles per hour or at 107,226 kilometers per second. Folks, we are moving. So while you're sitting there at your desk or wherever you are watching this, understand that the forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, all of this is all wrapped up in this gets better so our sun it's moving at 450,000 miles per hour are you getting this so that means we're hurtling through space we're moving at 67,000 our sun is moving at 450,000 gets better the Milky Way is traveling at 515,000 miles per hour. All right, let's continue now. Keep the dishes spinning here. So, Earth moving at 67,000 miles an hour. We got the sun moving at 450,000 miles an hour. And now we got the Milky Way moving at 550,000 miles an hour. You think it stops there? No, it does not. The universe is expanding, moving at 45.5 miles per second per megaparsec. Uh-huh. I bet you're asking yourself, what is a megaparsec? Good question. A megaparsec, and I'll just spell it out for you here, and it basically... We're moving really fast, folks. Uh, a megaparsec is equal to 3.26 million light years, which one light year is equal to 6 trillion miles. We'll get into more of that. So let's wrap our head around all this. Earth, sun, galaxy, universe. Going to be a test. Oh, did you know we're heading for a galactic collision? Bet you didn't know that, did you? Yes, well, say hello to Lambda Hercules. It's where we're headed. In fact, we're heading in there rather quick. So I brought up some fun facts. The sun is moving towards Hercules at 20 kilometers per second or 12 miles per second. Now, here's some interesting thing, folks. When you're looking at SETI, you're looking at SDO, you're looking at pictures of space, kind of just remember where we are in the neighborhood. And remember, since I started this video, we have already moved some 20,000 miles about the circumference of the Earth. The sun is moving upwards out of the plane of the Milky Way at the speed of 7 kilometers per second. Currently, the sun lies 50 light years above the mid-plane of the galaxy. Remember what I showed you before? The now, here's something. The gravitational pull of the stars in the galactic plane is slowing down the sun's escape. The sun galactic center distance is 25,000 light years plus or minus 2,000 light years. Are you starting to get the idea and understanding that things are moving, folks, beyond most of our comprehensions? We don't stop and think about this. We are such sheeple. We go our days, we live our lives pursuing, I can tell you, in reality, I'm just going to lay it out there to you. Everything you are doing, everything, everything, in the end, only leads to one den. And we got to stop sometimes because I think we fill ourselves up with thoughts, with activities, because we don't want to stop and think about these things.
Because these things cause problems with our reality. They upset our foundation of levelness. We don't like to go out there where the ground is kind of squishy and kind of moving because that upsets us. And when we start seeing things in the heavens that other people start pointing out in other realities, oh, we don't like that. We'll start bringing in our religious theologies, our dogmas. We're going to start telling you that these are the facts that, you know, and you don't know anything. Mankind knows very little. So the next time you want to write a snippet comment, keep it to yourself. Because guess what, Jack? You don't know Jack. <laughs> All right, ladies, I'll keep you out of it. So let's continue. So to review, Earth moves at 67,000 miles an hour. Sun moves at 450,000 miles an hour. Milky Way is moving at 550,000 miles. The universe is moving. Well, let's just say it is moving. Size of the Milky Way is 100,000 light years across, and the width of it is approximately 125,000. So we're talking light years. We're so, they're talking 6 trillion miles. So do the math. There's no way that what I'm about to show you makes any sense now. So I leave you with this question. These are pictures of Sechi. Now, we all know about the movement. I'd like to know how come we can see anything moving back here. The fact that we can see it moving, all right, we get the math. But if it's moving, why do we keep seeing this show up time and time again? Logic would say that as this star field moves, it has a hundred thousand light years to move, folks. Are you telling me that we're looking at a center of the Milky Way and that somehow or another, either we're spinning faster than the Milky Way or somehow the Milky Way has been condensed into the view of one shot that continues to rotate? Now, I'm not the sharpest guy. I admit it. Hey! I'm just me. I just ask a lot of questions. I'm starting to observe more. I question everything because I have found out that most of what I've been told in my life has been a lie, a deception, starting from religion and take it on down from there, folks. So yes, something doesn't add up. And I'm not quite sure what it is, but I'm certainly open for explanation. So if you have a good explanation as to why we can continue to see this move, this star field cluster, which I am assuming they're saying is the center of the Milky Way, I don't know. But I know this, if it moves, it should not move back into our field of vision. True or not? Or should it even be moving at all? I mean, yes, 515,000 miles an hour is fast, but it's not fast compared to a 6 trillion miles, is it? All right, you folks be kind to one another. You start sowing love in people's lives and start sowing kindness, guess what? You're going to reap a bountiful of it back. Take care.